Hackers is okay. Uh -huh. Only okay though. Uh -huh. Only okay. Fuck you. What are you wearing, Becky? You're so special. Hey, look at you. Look at her though. Stop it. Hacker, she's wearing. Stop it. She's wearing a green bow tie. Not Becky, Becky bow tie. <laughs> Right, anyway, please keep on emailing. You've been angry today. Keep on emailing in with your suggestions of where we should go on holiday. Email in cbbc at bbc.co.uk. And we'll see you right after. Brand new. It's brand new. Say it's brand new. Brand new. It's brand new. Bamzuki. Hey there, Zooksers. Bamzuki is back and we've taken to the streets. More world-class Zooks are on the loose, ready to make history with their handlers. So, let's meet the teams. Hello, I'm Elliot and we're armed response and we're here to kick some Zook butt. Hello, I'm Kofi, we're Scorpio and we're here to beat the Yellows. Hi, I'm Nina and our Zook is Archimo Maximus. We think he's good because he's colourful and pretty fast. Hello, I'm Louis, our Zook is Dizzy and he's good because he's a brilliant all-rounder. Course selected. Maintain radio silence. He's on his way. The authorities are warning citizens to stay off the streets and to be on the alert for strange activity. Police have issued a description of an elderly man said to be extremely athletic. The man is believed to be connected with an underground organisation called Bamzuki. So far, no one has been apprehended. And that's the way we'd like to keep it. From a cast of thousands, four more Zooks have made the cut. It takes skill and talent to make it to these championships. Look and learn, Zooksters. Here's the lineup. On the inside, it's Dizzy. <laughs> One of the longest and widest Zooks I have ever seen. Lane two, Scorpia. A little guy, but with a big heart. Lane three, it's Artie Mo Maximus. I'll be calling him Artie. And in lane four, we've got armed response. If it's legs you're after, you're in the right place. <laughs> Away we go, and an explosive start from Dizzy. A collision between Dizzy and armed response, and there's Scorpia and Artie bringing up the rear. But look at this at the front. Carnage, what an incredible start from Dizzy. Oh, he's all over the road. I think that's my car. Hang on a minute, but that... That's meant our response now can streak into a lead. Good cornering there. And where is Dizzy? Well, nowhere to be seen. Our response with another saleable lead. Here comes Scorpio and Artie in second and third. Dizzy, well, after that collision, has disappeared. Scorpio there giving chase to armed response. But here he is, streaking away armed response. Lovely straight line speed. Good build. And let's see. Tight cornering, well, pretty much unstoppable. The final mini roundabout into the home straight. A brilliant performance here from Armed Response. He's going to choose who he faces in the head-to-head. -head. A convincing win. Superb. Into the arena he goes. Who's in second? Well, it's Scorpia. He may be small, but he's got second place. Of course, fastest loser needs a good time. Could come into play. He grabs second. And I'm sure that must mean it's Artie. Here he comes. In third place, no threat from Dizzy. But the last we saw of Dizzy, he was ram raiding a car. Here he comes, Ray, all over the place, banging off the wall. Dizzy by name, Dizzy by nature. Oh, can't even get over the line without hitting something. Well, I'm exhausted. Let's calm down and see what happened. Armed response won it from Scorpio, Artimo Maximus, and Dizzy last. Team captains, follow me. Welcome to the Zook Zone. Have you got the style to make it to the top of the pile? Let's find out. I hope none of you are claustrophobic. <sighs> this lift takes us down to level one and the first set of challenges. A word of warning, street rules means survival of the fittest, so victory is the key. On that note, Elliot, it's time to consider your opponent for the next round. 
Our response has got speed as well as size. Who will he pick? Scorpia can't match it for power, but he looks agile, and that might be a factor. Artimo Maximus is another little fella and a likely target. Dizzy might have come last, but he's so unpredictable. I wouldn't risk it. Ah, there you are. Welcome to our underground lair. Now, this is a top secret location. You and your Zooks are privileged to be here, and don't forget it. All right, Barney, calm down. He gets a bit protective over his lair. Elliot, it's decision time. Who are you going to face in your first challenge? I think I'll choose Artemo Maximus. Ah, an interesting choice there, Elliot. Why Nina and Artemo Maximus? We feel that we have a better Zook than them all round, so we feel that we'll be able to beat them in any competition. So no matter what skills they, they've actually got, you'll beat it? We hope so. Really? Nina, how do you feel about that? Mm. Not too mm. sure. This could be an interesting start battle. Let's have a look, shall we? Let's see what you're up against. Don't forget, you can't take anything for granted. Ah, behold, Super Sumo. And here's our very own little and large combo to demonstrate the game. Super Sumo is about one thing and one thing only. Strength. Show them, beastie. Ah, looks like uh, Mimi has got the upper hand, which just goes to prove that attitude and manoeuvrability are also important. Push your opponent out of the ring and into the spike pit, and you've won. If both Zooks leave the ring, then the first to fall is out. Ooh, the things he'll do for love. Come on in, teammates. So, Elliot, you've chosen to go up against Artemo Maximus in the Battle of the Bulge Super Sumo. Our response is quite a, a beefy Zook, so do you think that size is going to be an advantage for you? Yeah, I think size will definitely be an advantage to push Artemo Maximus are off the table, but I think they might surprise us. Well, you sound quite confident, but I'm only going to say one thing. Never underestimate a Zook. Here comes your countdown. Armed response against Artemo Maximus. <laughs> Let's wrestle, and together they go. And it really is little versus large, but look at that. Arty giving as good as he's getting as they circle round together. But now they're getting takes it. See, what do you think, Jem? Are you going to stick with your theory the big is best? Oh, yeah, I'm sticking with the heavyweight every time. Come on, then, Nina, let's win it for the underzook. Here's round two. Well, he certainly needs it if he's going to stay in the competition. <laughs> oh, there you go. Both zooks circling each other in the ring, and armed response now starts to push around Artie, using his weight, but Artie's got underneath him. Is that a tactic or not? Oh, well, look at this. Well, there go the poles, and there goes armed response. Oh, that was a close one. See, what did I tell you? Never underestimate a zook. Well, this is the decider. Zooks circle around each other. Armed response and Arty shaping each other up there. The poles drop. Who's going to make a move? They're both doing a little dance there. Bruce Forsyth and Tess Daly would love this. And the second lot of poles drop. Are they actually going to get resting? Oh, look at that! What happened there? Well, let's have a look. Well, Arty gets upended by armed response. Victory for the big guy. Another one that was so close there, but I can confirm it's a big win for the big zoo. Congratulations, Arm Response. You're through to the next round. And Artemo Maximus, that means we're going to be seeing you in the Eliminator. Let's confirm that in writing. Armed Response through. Teams, are you ready to rumble? Yep. yep. That's focus for you. OK, then, let's see some super sumo. Well, it's another little versus large. Sumo is go. Let's see how this pans out. Well, Dizzy, he's so quick and he's skittering all over the place there. What Scorpius tactic? Well, he's gone underneath Dizzy. And I'm not sure what Dizzy can do about it. Scorpia tipping him around. The poles are down. They're heading towards the edge and they're both off. We're going to need an action replay there. And let's see. Yep, it's definitely Dizzy who's off first. Scorpia takes it. What did I tell you? The little guy beat the big guy. Not bad for a starter, that, is it? Let's find out what happens in round two. 
Let's see if Dizzy can get back in it. Well, Scorpius' tactic last time was to get himself underneath Dizzy, spin him round and tip him off, and it looks like he's trying to do the same thing again. And why not? It's worked before. They're shouting plenty of encouragement. I'm not sure what Dizzy can do about this. Scorpius got him sort of spinning around. Dizzy putting up more of a fight than he did last time. They're heading perilously close towards the edge there, bouncing around, and he's gone. They're both gone. Let's have another look at that. But it's a carbon copy. Scorpia takes it. Oh, would you look at that? The little guy has proven that he obviously is king of the sumo. Well done, Scorpia. We'll be seeing you in the next round. Which means commiserations to look at that for a celebration. That's what it's all about. <laughs> I think he might be happy with that result. Okay. Commiserations, Team Dizzy. That means you're going through to the eliminator. You see, no one likes being pushed around, unless maybe you're a shopping trolley zook. But hey, what did you expect in Super Sumo? Look and learn, my friends. Can you teach me how to do that? Scorpia's convincing win condemns Dizzy to the Eliminator. OK, teams, the end is nigh for one of you. And we're about to find out which. Ta-da! Yep, no time to push your luck. The pressure is on. It's pressure pusher. Pressure Pusher is the ultimate test of Zook and Zookster. Shout attack to push the barrel into your opponent's half and retreat to return home. Pick your moment and attack again. To win, the barrel must be over the line and you must be safe on your side. Get caught in your opponent's zone when the klaxon goes and you're out. Simple, eh? Well, it would be if you knew how much time you had. The winners of this will be escaping a fate worse than death. The losers will have a very squishy future to look forward to. Teams, it's time to step forwards and support your Zooks. Good luck. Let's play Pressure Pusher. Dizzy and Artie both attack. Well, look at the speed of Dizzy. We know he's quick, but hey! Turns out he's strong as well. Pushes Artie all the way back into his own half. Turns and retreats. Well, I tell you what, that's the way to do it. Here comes Artie, the smaller of the two Zooks. An attack again from Dizzy. Well, I tell you what, we were making fun of Dizzy in the street race. He was all over the place. But he looks well in control here. And Artie, with the barrel deep in his own half, has got his work cut out. Bang! Here comes Dizzy again. Retreats. Well, if the klaxon goes now, Artie's in real trouble. But that's it. We don't know when the klaxon's going to go. But Dizzy's just not giving him the chance of getting the barrel into his half. Superb play. How's this going to pan out now? Dizzy retreats again. The barrel clearly in Artie's half. How long have we got left? Artie in all sorts of trouble. Yeah, it's all well, well played, Dizzy. That is textbook pressure pusher. Ooh. Team Dizzy, looks like you guys are spinning your way into the next round. Loving your work. Artimo Maximus, what a shame, but what a name. It's time to bam your Zuki. <laughs> Lots of Zook juice everywhere. He's not coming back in a hurry, is he? How are you feeling about that, Nina? You're laughing, Fern. That's a good sign. <laughs> that looks horrible. <laughs> All that work. But hey, you've been on Bamzuki. You've put a great performance in. Are you happy? You've enjoyed yourselves? Yeah. yeah. Nice one. That's what it's all about. Well, the Eliminator certainly doesn't respect shape or sizes, does it? And speaking of Zook sizes, here's our Dr. Vigo with his take on Mini versus Maxi. Your Zook could be big and brave, or tiny and tenacious, and it can change size whenever it wants. I know some very special Zooks who have taken that to the extreme. First up, I called my old friend Wampa, who is the world's biggest Zook, and who should hopefully be here any moment now. Wow! <laughs> hey there, big buddy! You okay? Wampa is a whopping 10 stories high, which means he always has a great view, although he does have difficulty finding trainers that fit. Don't we all? But just to prove that bigger is not always better, we are also joined by the world's smallest Zook. 
If only I knew where he was. Ah, wait, wait, there he is. Hello, Weezy. Weezy here was built on the subatomic scale using the world's smallest Zook toolkit, which was manufactured by the world's smallest Zook toolkit creators, who are sponsored by the world's smallest. You get the point, he's really pretty small. But remember, even the smallest Zooks can have big feelings, so don't patronize them. Isn't that right, little Wheezy? <laughs> Don't worry, he's a doctor. He'll see him all right. The story so far, our response left no room for comebacks with back-to-back -back wins in the street race and Super Sumo. Scorpio joined him on level two by pushing above his weight, leaving Dizzy and Artie to face the pressure pusher. Sadly, it was Artie who left the party. <laughs> So here we are, welcome to level two. Now so far we've tested size and strength in sumo, but now it's time to test your courage. Here's a little something to get the heart rate going. Teams, welcome to Raid Runner. Senti, play nice. This game requires speed, agility yeah. and quick thinking. Make like a turkey and gobble, gobble, gobble those points before Senti is released and hunts you down. Easy. Direct your Zook by naming the colours, but don't get caught. The winner is the Zook who gets the most points in the quickest time. So, to secure a place in the final, you've got to be quick on your heels and think on your feet. Rule number one is don't get caught. The worst performing Zook is out of here. Any questions? No? Good. Armed response. You're up first. Step forwards. OK, best of luck. It's time to play Raid Runner. <laughs> so, armed response. Please. What sort of point score can you Get rack up? Been called to green, but there's a sliding door in the way there. Yellow. Heading for yellow, but Those being gates. caged in. Yellow. Gone through, needs to get some Blue. points in the bag. Got a few there, that's better. Green. And now Senti has been released. Can he sense where armed response Senti. is? Well, luckily, there's a wall between them there. Armed response making for the corner, trying Blue. to get out of the way. There's Senti. But he's missed him. But he's turned now and he's cornered him. It's over for armed response. Oh, and Senti's just cornered you, armed response. Do you think you've done enough? Uh, we did OK, but we could have done better. Well, it all depends on the next Zook's performance. Here's round two. <laughs> OK, Kofi, it's time for you and Scorpio to step up. Now, we know that you're fast, but do you have the muscle to fend off Senti for long enough to score points? Yeah. He sounds confident. He looks very cool, calm and collected. It's time to play. Well, how is Scorpio going to compare to yellow. armed response? Heads to yellow. Get those four points early on. Making a bit of a meal of that. Needs to get this sorted. Red. Goes for red. There's a couple of points here. Senti's going to be released green. any second. Well, he goes for green. There's only one point there, and Senti sensed him. Not only that, he's got him. Oh, he's going to be disappointed with that. Oh, unlucky there, Kofi. Now, of course, the idea behind this game is not to come last between the three teams that are taking part. Do you think you've done enough there to get yourself through? Um, we might have. OK. Well, you never know. Senti knows this course at the back of his hand. The next team might be in trouble to find out. Round three. Bring it on. It's a close one. Now, one team who knows how to battle to stay into the game is Team Dizzy. They've already been into an eliminator and fought for their place. You're here again, Louis, and you've got to fight for a place in the final. Now, we know how fast your Zook is. He's super speedy. Is that going to be enough to avoid Senti and, of course, to get round those sliding gates? Well, I'm, hope I'm going to try and aim for the, the points and secure a place. So. OK, well, best of luck. The tension here in the Bamzuki lair is high. So, without further ado, here's Raid Runner. It's pretty tense up here in the commentary box as well, Gemma. <laughs> Can Dizzy pull it off? Well, he's back and forth a bit there. No points scored yet. Ah, uh, get in that uh, yellow box. Green. 
Well, he's... Yellow. Oh, well, yellow. Ooh, he's looking a bit unsure there, and this isn't helping Dizzy. Green. Heading over to green, but there's no points. Senti green. is released. To green. Heads to green. Got a few points Senti. there, but here comes Senti. Yellow. I think he sensed him. No, red, red, red. Oh, dear, could be all over. Yeah, and it is. Oh, oh, oh. Has Dizzy done enough? Well done, Dizzy. You managed to avoid Senti for quite a while then, but he just captured you. Do you think you've done enough to get yourselves through to the finale? Confident? <laughs> we love it. Well, let's find out. He's still collecting points. <laughs> He's doing all right. He can't stop him. Well, our response was first up with nine. Scorpius got seven. Dizzy beats them both with ten. Scorpius a goner. Team armed response. Team Dizzy. You're looking very proud of yourselves. And so you should be. We'll be seeing you in the finale. Well done. Team Scorpio, you've had a cracking show, haven't you? You got kept second in the street race, you won both of the sumo bouts, but then just ran out of steam towards the end. So, uh, unfortunately, we have to say goodbye. So, let's see what cruel fate we have in store for your Zook. <laughs> That's what you call being extinguished. Well, That's kind of you know, there's plenty more zooks in the sea. You be talking to Dr. Vigo. I have dedicated my life to the study of zooks. Unlike some so-called wildlife experts, for whom science is merely an excuse to show off their muscles. My name's Steve Backshaw from Deadly Sixty. You can call me Steve. <laughs> I'm on a mission to find the deadliest souks in the, uh, woods. And you're coming with me every step of the way. Well, I'm going to sit quite still because I really don't want to annoy this zook. I mean, I'm not entirely sure what it is, but with those huge fangs, I'm sure it could give you a lethal bite. It looks a little bit like a, a solid fugit or a camel spider that you find in the Middle East or in North America, but I'm not sure whatever it is, it's deadly. I'm no zook expert, though. What do you think, Dr. Vigo? Well, it's obvious, Steve. Uh, it's clearly a new breed of the zook spider family. Well, I can see that. Tell me something I don't know. Yes, this is a Brazilian grande zookos uh, from the Amazon rainforest. Special features include the unique speed which this zook reaches when chased by monkeys. Are you reading this from a book? No, of course not. I can see you! Uh, sorry, Steve Baxter, you are breaking up. Wildlife expert. Amateur. Yeah, takes one to know one, Vigo. In case you missed it, power and speed have been armed response to the competition so far, leaving his rivals trailing in the early rounds. Artie Mo got the worst of it, which left Dizzy and Scorpia to face Senti in Raid Runner. You know the rules here. You flinch, you die. So long, Scorpia. The finale showdown, armed response against Dizzy. We're on our way to a level that most suits can only dream of. This is where the competition really starts hotting up. Welcome to level three. Welcome to the open sky and the rooftop finale. Now down there is where the battle is gonna commence. Look at that. Let's take a closer look at the course. Well, from the start, it's up the ramps, easier said than done. Turn and through the sliding doors, and then into Aerial Alley, which will be under cannon fire. Across the reactor core and into your pipeline, where the traffic will be coming the other way. Get past that, and you've got Snapplejacks nipping at your heels before the final turn and the Colossi. If you can get past them, you're the winner. It's easy. So there you have it, as easy as that. What do you reckon, Gem? Who are you going for? Well, I'm sticking with my theory that bigger is better, so I'm going to support Armed Response, because I think he's going to muscle his way around pretty quickly. Well, I think Dizzy is the fastest zoot we've seen so far, and I think speed is the essence here. Team, what do you think? Let's go Team Dizzy first. What do you think makes your zoot a good contender for this one? Um, well, it's fast and it's strong, so hopefully it will get through it all nicely. Team Armed Response, what do you think? Well, also, uh, we think that ours is fast and strong as well, so we should do well as well. It's going to be a pretty tight contest, so without further ado, let's do battle. Well, Dizzy 
started this show as the laughing stock with a comical performance in the street race, but now look at him, streaking into an early lead from armed response, but getting himself caught there by the sliding doors, and armed response closes the gap. Well, they both now turn into Aerial Alley. Here come the poles and the cannons. But Dizzy, well, Dizzy, almost getting spun round. And look at this, Armour response having a bit of afters there with Dizzy as they bustle across the reactor core. This is incredibly close. Here come the boulders. They're both pretty tough zooks. And they're getting in a right old state with each other. If one of them could break free, I'm sure they've got the speed to do it. But they seem intent on wrestling their way round the course. They've only got the final straight to go, but they seem to be stuck together. Dizzy heads into the Colossi, getting banged all over the place. Hard response seems to have got caught at the top there. Where is he? Here he comes! Oh, my goodness! He sneaks through! Incredible stuff! Dizzy's trapped! And hard response somehow gets over the line. That was epic! Everybody, hard response. Yes, go on, he's deserved it. response through to the semi-final. What will become of Dizzy? Oh, Team Dizzy, things didn't go very well for you then, did they? Any final words before your Zook disappears off to Zooktopia? Oh, no, 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 hang on a second. There may be another chance for Team Dizzy. Yeah, here's how. Well, he's currently one of our three fastest losers, but with a time like that, he's in for a nervous ride. So, it looks like I was right all along. Bigger is always better. Ain't that right, Beastie? Hey, don't let Mimi here say that. Hey, do you know what I've noticed? That zooks can change their size depending on the environment. Oh, and they're not the only ones changing their size. <laughs> what can I say? I like pies. <laughs> but, um, where did Mimi get to, anyway? I don't know, she was a... How many pies has she had? I don't know. Don't forget, if you are still Zookless, log on to the Bamzuki website and download yourself the Zook kit. Uh, Barney? What? Which show rules? Oh, that's easy. Bamzuki Street Rules! Hi! Dr. Vigo here. I am the master of zookology and an expert in all things zookish. Send me your zooks. Haven't got one to call your own yet. Well, why not? Download the zook kit from the website and pretty soon, hey presto, you will have a new pet. Better than a cat. Thinking something with like palm trees. Or yeah. Oh, hello. Oh. It's a Wednesday. Yeah. If you didn't just notice then, me and Hacker are talking about holidays. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> oh, yeah. we need one. We're doing so you lot have been emailing in with your suggestions of where we can go on holiday. Ian, what? read them aloud. I'm going to read them audibly to the people at home. <laughs> Get your ears open. Here it comes. Got one from Jack. Hi, Jack. Jack. <laughs> We've done that properly in something then. Thank you. Wow. Does that like to go to Spain because my grandma and granddad have a nice relaxing house there? Well, can I go? No, but Hacker, we can have our own a relaxing. Imagine having a relaxing house. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Relaxing. Relaxed in a jazz fashion. Yeah. We've got one here from Sarah. Hello, Sarah. I'd wave, but. I'm too relaxed. Yeah, I'm waving a jazz wave. Jazz wave to Sarah. Oh, it was quite energetic for a jazz wave. Thank you. We've got one here. She says, my favourite place to go on holiday is the Greek island of Corfu. My parents went there on their honeymoon. Fact. Can I go? No, because you look like <laughs> a 1980s police cop. I like it there because it's really hot and sunny and the hotel I said in was great. I'd like to go to Scotland one day too. What's it like, Ian? I hear the people are awesome. Uh, Ian, what? and it relaxing in Scotland. Scotland's more like this. Yeah. Got another email, Hacks. It's from Venus. 
Ah, very nice. Hello, Venus. She says, are you going to go to China? Oh, imagine us in China. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Wow. Check it out, Hacker. The Great Wall of China. Yeah. Bit boring. Do you fancy a game of football?